In this video, I'm gonna talk about the questions you absolutely have to ask before you show your buyer's properties. Jen, I've got a local and national real estate team where I coach agents how to level up their business. Number one, you got to ask them why they're moving to find out that motivation. That's probably one of the most important questions, why it is that they want to move and what are their plans? Number two, you need to ask them, what do you not like? And what do you like about your current living situation? So phrasing it like this opens up a conversation. In this discovery call or conversation, you're figuring out what's important to them, what's not, and asking open-ended questions where they have free reign to say whatever it is that they want is gonna help not only build rapport, but it's gonna give you insight into what it is they want so that you can solve their problems, which leads me to figuring out what their pain points are, knowing what it is that they don't like, what they're struggling with and the reason why they're wanting to move now, and what they're looking for in the, that next house. So. Asking these types of things is going to really help hone in rather than just like, how many bedrooms do you want? How many bathrooms do you want? Do you see how like the difference between an open-ended question versus a closed-ended question? It creates an entirely different dynamic and an entirely different conversation. Asking it in this way is going to absolutely help you be the best real estate agent for them. So as you're moving along through these questions, you also want to say, hey, what is your absolute must haves? We love that word here in the real estate world. What are your must haves? And then after they list that, say, okay, like in an ideal world, if money wasn't an option, tell me what your like to haves are. Tell me what, like, you know, I mean, even if it's your first house, like if you were to get these things that you'd be like, wow, okay, this is clutch. Write those things down. It's like, is it gonna hurt? Does it take an extra two minutes to find those things out? Yeah, but like they're gonna be, they're gonna feel like you care about their needs because you should. You should do that because guess what? If you treat them well and you do a really good job, when they're ready for their move up house, guess who they're gonna call? Because they know that you know exactly what they want and what their dream house looks like. It's almost as if that's exactly why we're here. Here's another question that a lot of agents aren't asking but makes a huge impact ask your potential buyers what their hobbies are and what their lifestyle is like. I know this seems like it's just kind of an extra added question, but this is actually really important because if they're super big into kayaking, that's gonna tell you, hey, they might want a bigger garage and they need, might need some storage and some, some free wall space to hang up their kayaks or their bikes or whatever they're into. Or maybe they love playing cornhole with friends and they love entertaining and they like doing outdoor activities. You're gonna know that they're gonna need a lawn big enough to set up those cornhole boards in the right spot. So it's these types of things, the little nuances that like, that's gonna stand out to somebody. People love talking about themselves and they love talking about what they love to do. And so, giving them that opportunity to say what it is they like to do and what their hobbies are is going to help you help them find the best house not just one that'll work but one that like you're truly thinking of them imagine being like hey i found this house one two three main street the garage is a tandem so there's this extra space in the back where it'd be perfect to put your kayaks Imagine saying that to your client versus, hey, I found this three bedroom, two bathroom. Uh, it's at least 1200 square feet and there's a, a, it's fully fenced for you because that was your minimum criteria. Like you, know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like how much more boring that is versus like something that you learned about them that you decided to ask them and really just catered it, you know, to them and what their lifestyle is. Imagine you anticipating their needs and them not even having to ask. You just already were asking really great questions and did the things before they even had to say what it was that was most important to them. That's impactful and that's how you build trust, it's how you build relationships and how you grow a really great real estate company. All of this stuff, all of these questions are things that I help coach my real estate agents with. My local team and my national team gets this kind of coaching all of the time. So if you have questions about that or you want more and you want the full list of questions that I recommend, definitely schedule a call with me. All the details are in the description below. And if you want the full estate agent experience, come join my team. The water's hot on this side. And lastly, you are the professional and you are the leader in this situation. So you always need to be closing them to the next step. Direct them and guide them to what the next thing is. So whether that's an appointment, whether that's a showing, whether that's just a next call, 
you need to make sure that every time you end a conversation with them, no matter what platform you're using or what you're doing, you say, okay, so you're gonna hear from me at this date or this time, and we're gonna talk about X, so be prepared for this always be closing. It's not just about always be closing deals. It's always be closing on the next step. So make sure that you're incorporating that into every single conversation that you have for people. Not because it's not, it's not a like, Oh, I'm such a big closer kind of vibe. It's a, I'm a leader and I'm helping them with the next step of just getting them where they want to go. So having that mindset is going to make a super huge impact on the people that you want to serve. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss a video.